Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, welcome for to today's uh, weekly memorial service. Uh, we are having these services in lieu of the regular memorial services that we would have um, at the temple uh, because we are unable to uh, have these services. Uh, we wanted to have an opportunity for people to uh, express loss for their loved ones. Um, so we'll be having these every Saturday at uh, 11 o'clock. Uh, we will begin the service with the sutra chanting of San Butsugia, followed by the reading of the names, and then a short message, and then the letter on white ashes. So we'll begin today's service with uh, sutra chanting of San Butsugia. Shaw, 
、心熱症状、いとがこ、けらくあんのん、こぶつしんみょ、ぜがしんしょう、ほつがのい、力所所欲よくじぽせそん。知恵無下上良子孫。知が心行計量心死。諸苦毒中。画行所人人流不見何万だめ何万だめ何万I'll now read the names for this week. <clears throat> Susumu Enkoji, Richard Kiyoshi Takashima, Ralph Vincent Rains. Namu Amida Butsu. 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 And I'll give a, a short message.、Uh, whenever a loved one is lost,、uh, there's a deep, difficult feeling of grief. And there are times among these that the death can cause a much larger scale of grief, affecting entire communities. This is not to say that any one life is more important than others, but sometimes the circumstances、uh, that make a death more impactful. If it happens outside of your community, it must be treated with respect for the culture of the established community. And if it is a community that you're a part of, it's important to recognize. The individuals and their different ways of coping with the loss. Everyone grieves in their own personal way, and there is no、uh, supposed correct way to grieve, but it is important to do so mindfully. As a society, we have placed certain constraints on how people grieve. Supposedly, after a certain amount of time, you're just supposed to get over it and move on with your life. But this, of course, is not how it works. A loss, and especially a powerful loss, fundamentally changes people. And if we deny this reality, if we push down this truth, it only causes more pain and suffering. Grief demands to be felt, and it will come out in one way or another. It is imperative, then, that we find a way to express our loss. We can talk to people who respect and understand us, people like our friends, our family. Professionals, people who trust,、uh, people who we trust and are there to listen to our pain. Don't put a time limit on your grief. Feel the way you feel in the moment. And at the same time, 
don't forget to take care of yourself, both mentally as well as physically. And acknowledge that while there will always be a hole in your life where that person used to be, there is also the potential for your own growth as a person throughout this tragedy. People who have gone through grief have also reported to have changes in their life, such as becoming more understanding and tolerant, having increased appreciation for the relationship and loved ones, being grateful for what they have and for those in their community who are loving and caring, experiencing enhanced spiritual connection and becoming more socially active. To sum it up, when we lose someone, it will bring us terrible pain and it is crucial for us to recognize that this is true. We must then deal with that pain in a way that allows us to grow as people, utilizing the compassion and the wisdom of the ones who care and understand us. If we refuse this path and challenge this truth, then it will lead us down a continuously painful one until our grief is finally acknowledged. I'll now read uh, the letter on white ashes, which was written by Renyo Shonin um, in response to someone who had recently lost a loved one. In silently contemplating the transient nature of human existence, nothing is more fragile and fleeting in this world than the life of man. Thus, we have not heard of human life lasting for a thousand years. Life passes swiftly, and few among men can maintain their form for even a hundred years. Whether I go before others or others go before me, whether it be today or tomorrow, who is to know? Those who depart before us are as countless as the drops of dew. Though in the morning we may have radiant health, in the evening we may return to white ashes. When the winds of impermanence blow, our eyes are closed forever, and when the last breath leaves us, our face loses its color. Though loved ones may gather and lament, everything is to no avail. The body is then sent into an open field and vanishes from this world with the smoke of cremation, leaving only the white ashes. Nothing is more real than this truth of life. The fragile nature of human existence underlies both the young and the old. Therefore we must, one and all, turn to the teachings of the Buddha Dharma and awaken to the essence of life. By so understanding the meaning of death, we come to appreciate the meaning of this life which is to be treasured because it is unrepeatable. By virtue of true compassion, let us realize the unexcelled value of this existence and let us live together with gratitude in our hearts. If you please join me in Gosho. Nam wo mi dabutsu. 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 Thank you for attending today's service. Uh, we'll hope to see you tomorrow morning at 9.30 a.m. Bye.